Bangladesh got independence from Pakistan in 1971, and since then both countries have gone through several ups and downs. But why is it that today Pakistan's economy is struggling and Bangladesh's economy is booming? How it all became possible? In this video, let's find out. Today, Bangladesh is a major exporter of textile goods. This success is due to careful planning and investment in specific areas. It has attracted foreign companies to invest in the country because of its favorable policies and skilled workforce. Additionally, its location makes it attractive for businesses to reach regional markets. Bangladesh has also invested in its people's education and healthcare, which has contributed to its economic growth. Women's education in particular has played a significant role in empowering women to work and contribute to the economy. On the other hand, Pakistan has faced challenges due to its political uncertainty and security concerns, which has made investors hesitant to invest in the country. To improve its economy, Pakistan needs to focus on making it easier to do business, reducing bureaucracy and ensuring a safe environment for businesses. Pakistan needs to invest more in education and healthcare to improve its workforce and overall economic potential. Bangladesh has been successful in diversifying its exports, which has protected its economy from global economic downfall. In contrast, Pakistan relies heavily on a few sectors and needs to diversify its exports base to become resilient to economic fluctuations. A stable political environment in Bangladesh has helped its economic growth as consistent policies have been implemented. Pakistan's frequent leadership changes and political unrest has made it difficult to implement long-term policies impacting its economic growth. In conclusion, Bangladesh's success comes from strategic planning, attracting investments, investing in people and political stability. Pakistan can also learn from these factors to improve its own economy by ensuring stable governance, diversifying exports and investing in human capital. By doing so, both countries can achieve lasting prosperity and development.